Well, when I first got the announcement about the Order of Canada, I was totally blown away. It came out of the blue, um, completely unexpected. And of course, it's a, a great honor and recognition, not only for myself, but for the work of the Citizen Lab and everyone who's been a part of our team uh, over the last 20 years. Uh, we're very critical for good reason. That's our mission of the Canadian government. So to have this honor, um, I think really you know, reaffirms um, the principles that we have that drive our research. We talk a lot in this country about the principles that define us, human rights, democracy, and so forth, but we don't always live up to it. Um, it's a, it's an ongoing project, if you will. Um, so yeah, I feel like, you know, uh, it's a, a moment of pride for me as a, as a Canadian. Uh, but also, like I said before, it really reaffirms our mission to keep doing the job that we're doing. And once I arrived at university, I became fascinated with uh, learning. It sounds kind of basic, but it's true. I just developed this curiosity and read voraciously in philosophy and politics and really zeroed in on international security issues and just followed my nose and really worked hard at it. And eventually succeeded to the point of you know getting this recognition so i think it just goes to show no matter your background no matter where you come from in this world the challenges that you face personally you can accomplish a lot if you're passionate about what you do and i really think curiosity is the key to um, a healthy life we're really interested in the gendered component of digital transnational repression <clears throat> unfortunately digital transnational repression affects um, women differently than it does men. And there are some bad actors out there that go after, for example, female journalists. Um, and uh, that's something that we want to understand better and help develop solutions for so it doesn't happen as much. And I think the investigations are the first part of that equation. You need to uncover some of this to find out what's going on. So I, I expect in 2023 we'll be doing a lot of publications in that area.